Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday and happy last week of e-learning. Today, you guys are going to learn what a folktale is. You're going to learn a little about where our folktale is coming from, which is the Algonquin people. You're going to listen to How Glue Scap Found Summer on YouTube, and then you're going to complete the activity in Shobi. So a folktale, guys, is stories that have been told orally, which means that they've just been told by mouth from generation to generation. They're often used to explain things in nature, and they were told a long time ago before people really knew a lot about science and why things were happening. So these stories would help explain why those things were they were happening, and they were obviously made up. So the Algonquin people actually live in the Canadian area and Canada is just north of the United States. They live in the Ontario and Quebec, as you see on our map. Um, and that's where the story that is that we're listening to today, that's where it came from. And the link that you see um, right there, I'll show you just in a second, the website that you can look at and learn a little bit about those people if you're interested. So this is the website that you can just learn a little bit more about the Algonquin people if you're interested after you complete your assignment today. It's really interesting if you want to learn a little bit more about them. So like Ms. Shook told you about folk tales at the beginning of this video, while you're listening to this story, um, try to think about what are they trying to explain in nature because that's what's going to be part of your Shobi activity. Think about what is trying to be explained. It's a very short story and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks. How Glooscap Found Summer Based on an Algonquin Folktale Illustrated by Maria Voris Long ago, it grew very cold. Ice and snow covered the land. Fires could not keep people warm, and corn could not grow. Glooscap, the leader of the people, had to do something. Glooscap traveled far to the north. Everywhere he looked was cold and white with snow. He came to a house made of solid ice, where a giant named Winter lived. Winter greeted Glooscap and invited him inside his house. Winter began to tell stories of the time when he ruled the earth. Soon, Glooscap fell asleep under Winter's spell. But Glooscap's messenger, Tatler, woke him. Wake up, Glooscap, said the bird. In the south, you will find a woman who can defeat Winter, said Tatler. Glooscap traveled far to the south. He came to a land where it was warm and sunny. Grass grew and flowers bloomed in the beautiful land. Glooscap saw spirits dancing in a circle. At the center of the circle was Summer. She wore a crown of flowers in her long brown hair. Glooscap asked Summer to come north with him. She followed him to Winter's house of ice. Winter invited them in and asked them to sit down. He began to tell stories again. But Winter's spells could not capture Summer. She began to chant her own spell, and sweat ran down Winter's face. I am stronger than you, said Summer. You must leave this land and thaw your icy breath, she said. Winter wept, and his tears became rivers of melted snow and ice. The corn grew, and flowers bloomed again. Summer told Winter, you will have your own land in the north. It will always be winter there. You may come and visit other lands for part of the year, but in the spring, I will drive you out. Since that day, winter has ruled for part of the year, but every spring, summer drives him away. Sometimes it seems as if winter will never end. But summer is stronger than winter. Spring will always come. 